Hello YouTube. In this video we're going to take another look at claims that the Earth has uh, recently shifted on its axis by several degrees. We're going to take a look at some uh, time-lapse videos of the northern circumpolar stars and uh, we're going to do a comparison of a video that was uploaded uh, back in November 2009 and video uh, that was redone in July of this year 2012. We're going to compare the two videos and uh, see if we can spot any difference between the uh, the tilt of the Earth based on the position of the northern pole star Polaris. This is a video that was uploaded back in uh, November 2009 on the 15th of uh, November by RT66 T-Bird who is uh, Thomas Googlyota. I contacted uh, Thomas um, after watching his video and uh, here is his first video that was uploaded back in 2009. As we can see uh, the northern pole star Polaris there with the um, northern circumpolar stars rotating around Polaris. I contacted Thomas and asked him if he would be kind enough to uh, film another time lapse just as he had done this one so that we could compare the, the position of uh, Polaris in the sky and see if we could uh, find any, any difference in the, uh, the tilt of the Earth and uh, Thomas very kindly accepted the challenge and has uploaded a couple of videos. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, this one was filmed on the uh, 20th of uh, July from Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. Here are the GPS coordinates from where he took the video and uh, he started filming at about 10 past 10 in the evening. Um, now I'll just stop it here before we run it. I just want to point out a few things. Here is uh, Polaris, and I'm going to uh, point out some uh, some other stars just as some markers so that we can compare them. Uh, the other thing that I would say to you too is um, I'll put the links for these videos in the description box, and I recommend that, that you do view them directly, and if possible change the, the quality to high definition and watch them full screen so that you can see the, the details clearly. Okay, so here's Polaris and I just want to point out these three stars here, one, two, three stars and I'm going into Starry Night Pro astronomy software here is Polaris and here are our three stars at the top here one, two, three, okay now the other thing I'm going to do is turn on the uh, celestial poles so here is the northern celestial pole so we can see that Polaris is not exactly on the northern celestial pole but it's it's very close in fact if I zoom in here so we've got a bit more separation I can check the angular separation between the, um, the northern celestial pole and Polaris we find it's 40 arc minutes so we've got 0 degrees 40 arc minutes now 40 arc minutes, uh, the 60 arc minutes to a degree, so 40 arc minutes is two thirds of a degree. So I'll just zoom back out here. Now there's our three stars at the top there, one, two, three, that we were comparing in Tom's video. Here they are, one, two, three. If I go back to Starry Night Pro, I've got this set up at the same time, 10 past 10, on the 20th of July and this is the pretty close to the same location that he was filming from. I've got the time, uh, the speed set to 334 times which actually matches the uh, the time lapse speed of Tom's video. So as, as we can see we've got the circumpolar stars here rotating through the sky. You can see Polaris is, is moving around the northern celestial pole there. So again it's not right in the middle by the way, the, um, the, the moon uh, and the sun are both approximately 30 arc minutes in diameter, or about half a degree. So you would actually fit the, the full moon in between the northern celestial pole and Polaris, as we see it here. OK, I'll just stop that there. You can see the, the stars rotating through the sky. Let's go to uh, Tom's video and, um, and play it. We see the same thing. Um, now in the video, it's 
it's hard to see that Polaris is not exactly right where the northern celestial pole is but I'm going to show you some still photos that uh, Thomas has, has taken using a program called Star Trails where he's actually been able to to stack these images from the stars as they rotate through the sky and we'll see those in just a minute okay so here's this video we've got the uh, morning daylight coming up from the next day here so this is Tom Gugliota uh, or RT66T bird I recommend you check out his, his channel and uh, watch these videos as I say the the links will be in the description box now Tom has taken his time-lapse video and created these star trail images uh, this is the second video that, that we've uh, just viewed that was filmed on the 20th of July and this one here was the original video that was filmed on the 15th of November 2009 now the trails look a little bit different here or, you know they're sort of opposite this is because they were filmed at a different time of the year the, the f this first one was filmed in, in November and this one was filmed in July so what I've done is I've opened them up in paint paint.net that is and I've rotated the the first image so that it matches the the second image as if they were filmed at the same time of the year so by flicking from one to the other we can see that there is no change in the in the Earth's pole the, the center of rotation is still right in the middle there this bright trail here that is the trail that has been left by the northern pole star Polaris okay as we said it's Polaris is not right in the middle it's not right on the northern celestial pole but it's very close but comparing this image from 2009 November 2009 to this image which was filmed in July of this year 2012 we can see that the center of rotation is still right about here with with Polaris just very near the the center of rotation there so if the Earth's pole had tilted by several degrees then that would mean that Polaris would be out here somewhere uh, you know if we're talking about two-thirds of a degree from here out to Polaris if we were talking about several degrees of uh, pole shift then Polaris would be way out here and obviously comparing the, the, the two images this one from 2009 uh, to this one in 2012 we see that they're exactly the same so this puts to rest the claims that the Earth's poles have tilted by several degrees people are claiming that the Earth uh, that the uh, the Sun is um, is rising in the, in the wrong direction because they don't realize that throughout the seasons the the Sun's uh, position that it rises on the horizon does actually change throughout the year that is quite normal nothing unusual um, so hopefully we found this um, helpful to put to rest this uh, these crazy claims about the the poles tilting um, I recommend that you uh, check out our discussion page on Facebook vortex voices of reason to explain X and once again check out Thomas's uh, great time-lapse videos there Thanks again to Thomas for your help on this, I really appreciate that and uh, thanks for everyone for watching.